Hi guys, I certainly hope you're enjoying your Friday. Well, welcome back to another video. It's that time for our Bible in One Year reading. We are on day 266 of Bible in One Year. So I'm gonna be reading Micah chapter five all the way through to chapter seven. All right, you guys go get your Bibles, coffee, tea, sip with me. I'm gonna get started on the reading. And for those of you that have been following along, you know that I always post a video for anyone to click on who would like to receive Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. And I'm going to put that video after the reading so that you can click on it if you would like to do so. All right, let's get started. From the New King James Version, it is written in the Word of God in Micah chapter 5, verse 1 through 15. Now gather yourselves in troops, O daughter of troops. He has laid siege against us. They will strike the judge of Israel with a rod on the cheek. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me, the one to be ruler in Israel, who's going forth and from of old, from everlasting. Therefore he shall give them up until the time that she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, and the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and this one shall be peace. When the Assyrian comes into our land, and when he treads in our palaces, then we will raise against him seven shepherds and eight princely men. They shall waste with the sword the land of Assyria and the land of Nimrod at its entrances. Thus he shall deliver us from the Assyrian when he comes into our land and when he treads within our borders. Then the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many peoples, like dew from the Lord, like showers on the grass that tarry for no man nor wait for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many peoples, like a lion among the beasts of the forest, like a young lion among flocks of sheep, who, if he passes through, both treads down the tears in pieces, and none can deliver. Your hands shall be lifted against your adversaries, and all your enemies shall be cut off, and it shall be in that day, says the Lord, that I will cut off your horses from your midst and destroy your chariots. I will cut off the cities of your land and throw down all your strongholds. I will cut off sorceries from your hand, and you shall have no soothsayers. Your carved images I will also cut off, and your sacred pillars from your midst. You shall no more worship the work of your hands. I will pluck your wooden images from your midst. Thus I will destroy your cities, and I will execute vengeance and anger and fury on the nations that have not heard. Micah chapter 6, verse 1 through 16. Hear now what the Lord says. Arise, plead your case before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O you mountains, the Lord's complaint, and you strong foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a complaint against his people, and he will contend with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you, and how have I wearied you? Testify against me, for I brought you up from the land of Egypt. I redeemed you from the house of bondage, and I sent you before you, Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O oh, my people, remember now what Balak, king of Moab, counseled, and what Balaam, the son of Beor, answered him. From Acacia Grove to Gilgal, that you may know the righteousness of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before the high God? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Would the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, ten thousand rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has shown you, O oh man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. The Lord's voice cries to the city, Wisdom shall see your name. Hear the rod who has appointed it. Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked 
and the short measure that is an abomination? Shall I count pure those with the wicked scales and with the bag of deceitful weights? For her rich men are full of violence. Her inhabitants have spoken lies and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Therefore, I will also make you sick by striking you, by making you desolate because of your sins. Ye shall eat, but not be satisfied. Hunger shall be in your midst. You may carry some away, but shall not save them. And what you do rescue, I will give over to the sword. You shall sow, but not reap. You shall tread the olives, but not anoint yourselves with oil. And make sweet wine, but not drink wine. For the statutes of Omri have, are kept. All the works of Ahab's house are done. And you walk in their counsels, that I may make you a desolation, and your inhabitants a hissing. Therefore you shall bear the reproach of my people. Micah chapter 7, verse 1 through 20. Woe is me, for I am like those who gather summer fruits, like those who glean vintage grapes. There is no cluster to eat of the fruit, first fruit ripe fruit which my soul desires the faithful man has perished from the earth and there is no one upright among men they all lie and wait for blood every man hunts his brother with a net that they may successfully do evil with both hands the prince asks for gifts the judge seeks a bribe and the great man utters his evil desire so they scheme together the best of them is like a briar the most upright is sharper than a thorn hedge the day of your watchmen and your punishment comes. Now shall be their perplexity. Do not trust in a friend. Do not put your confidence in a companion. Guard the doors of your mouth for her who lies in your bosom. For son dishonors father, daughter rises against her mother, daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own household. Therefore, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. When I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Until he pleads my case and executes justice for me, he will bring me forth to the light. I will see his righteousness. Then he who is my enemy will see and shame will cover her who said to me, where is the Lord your God? My eyes will see her. Now she will be trampled down like mud in the streets. In the day when your walls are to be built, in that day the decree shall go far and wide. In that day they shall come to you from Assyria and the fortified cities, from the fortress to the river, from sea to sea and mountain to mountain. Yet the land shall be desolate because of those who dwell in it and for the fruit of their deeds. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your heritage, who dwell solitarily in the woodland, in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in days of old. As in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt, I will show them wonders. The nations shall see and be ashamed of all their might. They shall put their hand over their mouth. Their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall crawl from their holes like snakes of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God and shall fear because of you. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion on us and will subdue our iniquities. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. You will give truth to Jacob and mercy to Abraham, which you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. And that concludes today's reading. Now, if there's something that you took away from the reading, please share in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you enjoyed today's reading. I said at the beginning, if Jesus Christ is not your personal Lord and Savior and you'd like him to be, that I would have a video that you can click on after the reading. And please keep in mind that if you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and you pray this prayer, that there are next steps that you should take going forward as a new Christian to strengthen your faith and your walk with Christ. So please click on this video right here, pray the prayer after me and message me so we can talk about those next steps that you should take going forward as a new Christian. And please join me again on my channel tomorrow. Hit that notification bell 
comment, like, and subscribe to Time with Tiffy, where we enjoy reading books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. You all have a blessed day, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. Until next time.